we had a couple of these fights in Orange that were around this time, one of which I started to tell you about the painting. You know, and I know I've interrupted you now twice on that, but I realize the jury doesn't. Can you tell them what you mean by orange at orange? Uh, sorry, orange was my apartment that I kept in Los Angeles at the time. And it was an apartment, what type of an apartment? I rented the top of a duplex. So it was a house um, with the landlord living on the bottom floor. I rented the top floor. Okay. Thank you. Now, please continue with the painting. I'm sorry. Um, I, nothing I could, it seemed like nothing I could say to Johnny would convince him. He wanted me to remove the painting. Um, and he wanted me to admit to this affair that I wasn't having. And I didn't want to admit to it because it's not true. So I held out, and he just started, I mean, he just drank more and did more cocaine. And I woke up the next morning, I think it was on the 22nd or the 23rd, I woke up in the morning and he was, the breakfast table was like cocaine and booze. And I realized that there, that I wasn't gonna be able to talk my, like I wasn't gonna be able to talk our, 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 our situation down. I wasn't gonna be able to talk him out of it. And he was just so convinced that I was fighting with him or, or, or at the reason that he wouldn't leave the house and he had something to go film that was important. And there were important people waiting for him. And I remember people were reaching out his assistants, his manager, sister, you know, everyone was wondering where he was. And I, kind of, I kept feeling embarrassed and unable to move this person out of my house. I couldn't calm him down. I couldn't change. He was just so intent on me admitting the details of this affair that I, I wasn't having. And me pointing out that the cocaine wasn't making his situation any better made me the bad cop. Then I'm the nag. Um, so eventually I called my sister uh, he had a kind of a buddy-buddy relationship with her at the time. And at the time, she occasionally did cocaine. I didn't, but she did. And so I was like, hey, come take over. You know, maybe you can buddy-buddy him and talk him into leaving the house, just getting out of the house. And she did. Um, I remember his assistants trying to get him out. Like, we eventually, in the evening, I think early evening, he finally... Um, agrees to leave, but I can't tell our relationship status. I can't tell if he still is convinced of these things or if he's just going to sleep it off and it's going to go back to normal sobriety, sorry kind of phase. And uh, he w w was still upset, but uh, co like seemingly calming down. So I, I agreed to go with him. He wanted me to go to the to the, the shoot, um, I had plans, so I kind of reluctantly agreed, but didn't want to set anything off. I didn't want to engage anymore. I didn't want to do anything that could be perceived as antagon antagonizing him or engaging more. So I went with him. We grabbed the dogs. We get in the car. We're on the way there. We're headed up S Sweetser's the street. It's a major street that um, leads up to Johnny's houses. Um, he effectively owns the end of the street. It's like a cul-de-sac. Um, so we're nowhere near his home, but we are driving up this street. And uh, he has the window down. He's smoking. Um, it wasn't all the way down, but, you know, he's constantly smoking. And at some point, he starts howling out of the window and then grabs... We had two small dogs. Well, one was Johnny's dog and one was my dog, but he grabs, if I, if I remember correctly, Boo, the, the, his, his dog, um, slightly chunkier, um, teacup Yorkie. And he grabs this teacup Yorkie and holds Boo out of the window of the moving car. And he's howling like, like an animal. Okay. And 
And well, you said that you took this that morning. Is that yes. correct? Could you tell the jury what the box is that has the property with the skull bones, property of JD? Um, that's Johnny's um, drug box. I've seen it used for pills, but at the time it was um, bags of Coke, like okay. dime ba bags of Coke. Okay. And what are these white lines on the table to the left of that box? That is cocaine. What is the bag, the brown bag on the left side? What is that? Uh, that's um, a dop kit. It's um, like, you know, his prescriptions and um, cigarette, tobacco, weed, things that, like that. 